Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Trustmark Arena for another game of college basketball between the Valdosta State Blazers and your Montevallo Falcons. Last time out, the Falcons got a win here in Trustmark Arena with some magic, beating West Florida 115 to 113, setting game highs for both teams. Falcons shot 45 for 90 in that game. And Bertolette going went 33 points, 12 for 18 in field goals, six for nine on threes, and three for three on free throws. McNeil second most went 29 points, shot 11 for 17 on field goals, three for six on threes, four for five on free throws, and had four steals. Another big name, Shiflet went had 16 points, shot six for two. Six for 22 on field goals, three for nine on threes, one for three on free throws, and he fouled, ended up fouling out of that game late. For our visiting Blazers, last game they won against the AUM Warhawks, winning 77 to 71, shooting 26 for 59. Some of the key points for tonight's game is that Bertolette and McNeil magic from last game. These two, along with others, helped get past the West Florida Argonauts in that magical game in the last minutes. Secondly, they have to step up on defense. This VS, this Valdosta State men's team is one of the best offenses. So someone or someone else on the team has to step up for the defense. And finally, they have to keep the intensity on offense. Five players last not last weekend went into double digit double digits following the other three of Bur the trio of Burlett, McNeil, and Shiflet. So your starters starting with the Valdosta State Blazers. Number zero, Jay Rucker. Number one, Jacoby Owens. Number two, Maurice Gordon. Number three, Cam Hamilton and number three, Caden Bosser. And then for your Montevallo Falcons, number one, Braxton Bertolet. Number three, J.C. McNeil. Number four, Tyler Moore. 24, Mason Shiflet. And number 32, Aiden Gardner. So, as we get ready to start first half of play here from Trustmark Arena. Here's some of the January games. Next home game versus AUM at four here at Trustmark on the seventh. All right, and we're ready to get underway here and it's underway. Valdosta State wins the tip off. And now Owens with the ball for the Blazers. Owens, one of the key players in their win against AUM, had 13 points, was three for eight in field goals, and was seven for 11 on free throws. A three there by, was a three. That three was by Cam Hamilton, but he missed, and a foul was called on the Blazers, and now the Falcons with the ball. Tyler Moore, who has it, trying to find a way to get open. And gives it off to J.C. McNeil. McNeil now. McNeil had a very amazing game, and that's Shifley in the corner for three, and that's off the back end of the rim. But J.C. McNeil had a magical game the other night against the Flor West Florida Argonauts, and there's a little jumper, and that's a miss. Rebound by Bertolette. They're trying to double cover Bertolette. J.C. McNeil, he has this lane, he dribble, he moves in, lays it up, he misses, Gardner gets the rebound, and there will be an odd court foul. That's on Caden Bosser of the Blazers. Moore will be on the inbound. As I was saying, J.C. McNeil had a very magical game for the Falcons, getting them back in. Bertolette, he moves in, finds an opening, and lays it in for two. Braxton Bertolet, also a very key player in that game. He got to a cur another career, a 
second career high game of 33 points in their win against West Florida. And that one was an errant pass by the Blazers that went out of bounds on the fan sides over there. And on the inbound was Bertolette, and he gets up to Moore. Moore dribbled in, was left by himself, but covered again and then gave it over to Shiflet. Shiflet now trying to dribble in towards the basket. He loses control of the ball, and the Blazers get that steal. That's Owens with the ball, and he gets stuffed by Gardner. And they call it out on Bertolette off his knee. And it's going to be Blazers ball here on the inbound. And ball into Caden Bosser out to Owens in this shot. That three by Rucker. His first shot is a three and it's clean. Moore with the ball, gives over to McNeil. Now down to Bertolet. Over to Moore again. Gives it off to Shiflet and then back to Moore. Moore has a lane. He spin moves and lay up and in for two. Tyler Moore puts a man on skates and does a spin move up to the basket. There's no one down there to put the ball in. A big mistake by the Blazers. No one was down there on the inbound to serve it back in. And it will force the Blazers, just like in the women's game, to take an early timeout here. So quickly, some of the stats is Bertolette and Moore both each have two. And then over on the Blazers side, Rucker hit that three. So as we come back onto the court this time, Bosser will go to the inbound line for the Blazers. And Bosser will get it into Owens. And it goes right back to Bosser. Those are trying to create some distraction. But now, oh, and Aaron pass. And that's going to go out of bounds on the Blazers. That was an errant pass by Gordon. And Owens was supposed to get that, but went out of bounds. And now we're going to see some substitutions here. As Mohamed Fofana comes into the game, as well as number 20, Ryan Black. Fofana. Fofana, one of the big names in the win against AUM. He had Shifla open. He shoots a three. And he misses out the front edge, and he tried to get in and get his own rebound, but Fofana get there to get the rebound. Fofana, again, a big, a key part, was a key part in their win against AUM last weekend. He had 15 points, shot five for seven on field goals, and was five for seven at free throws. And now he missed, and now the Falcons are on offense again. Gardner with the ball. He's trying to dribble up to the basket. He loses control. And pass down court to, there's a pass, a court pass down to Fofana. That was, that was Jay Rucker who slapped the ball out of Gardner's, in between Gardner's legs that created that play. And Fofana will step up to the free throw line here. Fofana's first one's up, and that one is cleanly in. And we will see four new Falcons come onto the court. Four Falcons that come onto the court is Jalen Tharp, Kendon Knight, Austin Latch, and number 12, Christian Fortner. And that one cleanly in. Christian Fortner, a name not called too much this year, but he's getting his first start and Knight loses control and it will be Blazers ball. Christian Fortner, the junior from, Thors from Thorsby High School in Thorsby, Alabama. And that's a three by 
Black, and he misses. Rebound collected by Jalen Tharp. Tharp played a key role in one of the games, and he threw it down, and McNeil, and that one's a three off. Ball goes out on the Falcons. J.C. McNeil tried to get it down to Fortner, and Fortner had to throw it right back to McNeil. And McNeil missed his three. But now, with the ball is Jacoby Owens for the Blazers. He gets it to Boser. And now, Fofana with the ball. Back over to Owens, over to Black. Black, he makes a move inwards. And he comes right back out to the point. Back to Owens, over to Boser. Boser gives it to Fofana. Back to Boser. Boser, he drives in. Pass back out to Owens. Owens fakes a pass over. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Offensive foul on Fofana. We will have a media timeout here. Score 4-5 in favor of the Blazers. Fofana, he's third in field goal percentages in the conference. Some other key players for this Blazer team is Ryan Black, Caden Boser, Jacoby Owens, Maurice Good Gordon, and Jay Rucker. The Valdosta State Blazers are one of the best offenses in the conference, averaging 84.7 per game. They are third in team field goals, fourth team in three-point percentage. They had the third, second most threes made. They are third in turnover margin and assist to turnover ratio. They also are first in block shots and assists for the Falcons. Falcons are, have, are fourth most in three points made. They are the top team in free throw percentage. Despite their last game, last game they shot nine for 18. So far, that's the lowest, if I'm not mistaken, this season for the Falcons. But as we come back out on the court, Latch will be on the inbound, and he gets it in. Same lineup, except Moore has checked back in on offense. Replacing J.C. McNeil. Over to Latch, now over to Knight. Knight over to Moore. More back to Knight. Over to Latch, Latch corner three, and an air ball right into the hands of Fofana. And Fofana gives it over to Owens. Owens with the ball, he makes a move. Cross court pass to Black. Now over to Fofana, back to Owens, over to ba Boser. He's passing it back and forth here at the point. Tries to throw it down low to Rucker and Fortner there to disrupt that pass and get the steal and give it off to Moore. Now Moore over to Latch, Latch with a D3, Swiss. Austin Latch, ladies and gentlemen, with a deep three. And there's a personal foul over there by Jacoby Owens on Austin Latch. That's going to be. And now coming into the game is Bartlett and Mason Shifflin now checking back in. For the Blazers, number five. Mike Eisler comes in. Bertolet with the ball. Over to Latch, Latch with another three. And that one's off. Bosser over to Eisler. Eisler loses it, gets it over to Bertolet. Bertolet lays it up in for two. Owens with the ball. He's making a move inwards. He passes back out to Black. Black in the corner for three. And that one's in. Shiflet back to Moore. Moore over to Latch. Latch with another three chance. Swish! Oh, I said Latch with another three. Boser over to Owens. Gives it back to Boser. And kickball on Braxton Bertolet. So far, Austin Latch is the leading scorer for the Falcons. He has six points. Black with the ball. 
Over to Owens. Back to Black. Down low to Bosser. Back to Black for another three, and he misses that one. Rebound collected by Latch. Over to Moore. Down court to Knight. Knight, he makes a move in, and he gets held, and he goes down hard on the court. That's going to be a shooting foul, if I'm not mistaken. And it will send Knight to the free throw line. Kenda Knight will go to the free throw line. As I said before, the Falcons are first, are one of the top teams in free throw percentage despite last, last game going nine for 18. This one is up and in. Now coming on for the Blazers is number 12, Cam Selders. Knight steps up for his second free throw. This one's up, and it's cleanly in as well. And the Falcons starting off tonight for three throws very well. Owens with the ball now for the Blazers. He's dribbling down the court. Pass out to Selders. Selders for three, and he misses out the front side of the rim. Shiflet with the ball now. He's, he's dribbling in, stops, comes back out, passes over to Knight. Knight over to Bertolette, now over to Shiflet, over to the Latch, now to Moore. Moore, he's dribbling in, takes a step back. He moves in, lays it up, can't get it in. Dribbles it, three from Latch, and that one's a miss. Boaster to get the defensive rebound, then gives it over to Selders, Selders over to Owens. Owen makes a move in on the basket. He spin moves and lays it in. Tyler Moore being charged with a, a personal foul here. Now coming on to the court is Aiden Gardner and J.C. McNeil. Foul there was on Tyler Moore, and it will send Jacoby Owens to the free throw line for the Blazers. His first one is up, and it's cleanly in. Moore with the ball. Now over to Shiflet. Shiflet, he drives in, and he draws a shooting foul, so he will take a trip to the free throw line as well. That personal foul is on is on Mike Eisler. Shiflet. He was he scored 16 point shot 6 for 22. Was 3 for 9 at the 3 line and then 1 for 3 at the free throw. As I also said, he fouled out of last Saturday's game. Was very upset about that, but he makes his first free throw and this one is up. And it's cleanly in as well. Two Falcons are clean on their trip to the charity line. They're four for four in total on free throws. Braxton. Boy, that was Isler who tripped and gave it over to Boser. Cross court to Black. Black for three and in. Ryan Black got another three off there. Shiflet now with the ball. Over to McNeil, over to Moore. Moore now, he's moving in. Steps back, cross court pass to McNeil. Now over to Shiflet. Shiflet fakes a three. Now does a little jumper and swish. Mason Shiflet there, little jumper for two. Owens now gives it over to Isler. Owens now over to Black. Black for another corner three, and he misses that one, and McNeil gets the defensive rebound. Up to Moore, pass up to Moore. Moore now, he drives in over to Shiflet. Shiflet fakes. He makes a step in, loses control. And now Black with the ball for the Blazers. Bozer over to Selders. And he gets Selders called for traveling. And we will have a media timeout here for folks. Skull. Scores 18 to 14. Falcons are shooting six for 14. In total, they are two for eight in threes. And they are clean so far on that at the free throw at the cherry line, shooting four for four. For the Blazers, they are four for 12. 
And three for nine on threes. They are also 100% at the charity line shooting three for three. Their top scorer, Ryan Black, has six points. He's got two threes off. On the Falcons side, it's Austin Latch. He has six and also is two for five in threes. So, the Falcons finding themselves up early here with 11.53 left. As I said, someone has to step up on defense right now. And so far, it seems that defense is sort of spread out as Moore has three. And Fortner and Knight both have two steal, both have steals, and then Gardner has one block. Shiflet now with the ball. Get, was going to give it off to McNeil, but he keeps it himself, passing it down low to Gardner. Gardner, he makes a move, puts it up, and misses. But he will draw a shooting foul. That is, that personal foul is on Mike Eisler. Coming up to the charity line is Aiden Gardner. His first one is up, and it is in as well. Hit that front part of the rim and danced in. Now in for the Blazers is Mohamed Fofana. And this one is up, and it's in as well. Falcons still clean here in the first period. Six, six for six on free throws. Up 24-14. Oh, mishandled Shiflet fakes. Ball's out of control. Knight with the ball. Knight thought about doing a little jumper. Gets it over to McNeil. 10 seconds. Knight, he shoots a three, and it's off the off in between the rim and the backboard. Selders tossing up to. That was Hamilton, and Hamilton does a little jumper for two. McNeil now with the ball. He makes a move in. He shakes. JC McNeil shakes Ryan Black and then able to just put it up in for two. Selders now. Pass up to Hamilton. Hamilton, he does a little fade too. He misses. That one's off. That one is off of Maurice Gordon and will be Falcons ball on the fan side of the court. JC McNeil will check it in. Gives it off to Jalen Tharp. Right back to McNeil. McNeil, he makes a move in, spin move, and he misses. And Fofana gets the rebound, defensive rebound. Gordon with the ball. That foul is on Jalen Tharp. That's going to be an on-court foul. Maurice Gordon was on a fast break there, and then he draws the on-court foul. Jacoby Owens gets it into Gordon. Now over to Black and over to Fofana. Fofana gives it off to Hamilton. Hamilton fakes back over to Owens. Owens drives in, does a little jumper, and in for two. Knight over to McNeil. McNeil to Tharp. Tharp over to Bertolette. Bertolette dribbling. He makes a move in more. Steps back. Little jumper. And that's off the back inside part of the rim. Gordon, he's tripped up over there. And Knight went to go post up on Owens. And he's getting drawn for, for a block foul. This will be a shooting foul. That will send Owens to the free throw line. Owens, he hits two shots. The first one is up, and it's cleanly in. Coming on for the coming on for the Falcons is Aiden Gardner. Owens. 
Owens steps up for his second. This one's up, and that one's in. Tharp with the ball, gives it to McNeil. Over the latch, back to McNeil. McNeil, he's trying to drive in, spin moves, and lays it in for two. McNeil and his magic, like last not a couple nights ago on Saturday, showing it off. Owens, he steps back, does a little jumper. He misses, and now it's, tipped, it's being tipped up on the glass. Black finally recovers it. Hamilton shoots a three, and he misses, but he gets the personal foul. That was on Austin Latch. It's going to be a shooting foul that will send Hamilton to the free throw line. This one's up, and it's in. This one is up, and it's in as well. You will get one more. Burlett comes off, or comes on, and Shiflet as well. Shifflet and Moore checking in now. Also on four. And he make his final one. McNeil with the ball. He's dribbling in. Passes it back out to Shifflet. Shiflet for a D3. It's short, but Tharp is there to get the rebound, and he lays it in for two. Pass over to number 15. That's Kevin Ke Kellen, Keelan Walker. That foul on Mason Shiflet. Shooting is Maurice Goodman, Gordon. His first one is up and in. And his second is up, and it is in as well. Both teams so far are 100% on free throws. McNeil with the ball. Shiflet. He sets back to the point. Gives over to Tharp. Tharp over to Moore. And they call Tyler Moore for a travel. Now coming on for the Falcons is Braxton Bertolette. On the inbound is Fofana. He gets it to Owens. And Owens' cross-court pass was trying to go to Fofana, but it goes errant and comes out of bounds near myself and the fans. McNeil will be on the inbound here near the Falcons bench. Gives it to Moore. Gives it to Shiflet, fakes the pass to Moore. Now McNeil, McNeil shoots a three and he misses off the front edge of the rim. Over to Moore, over to Bertolette, Bertolette fakes a three, pass back out to Moore. Moore over to McNeil for another. Fakes, over to Moore again. Bertolette gets it right back for the Falcons, over to Moore. Moore shoots a deep three, and he misses that one. And now, the Blazers have the ball. Over to Hamilton, now over to Walker, who's wide open for a three, and he misses, but Fofana gets the rebound, and he misses that one, and Shiflet collects it. McNeil now with the ball, gives it off to Shiflet again. Shiflet, he tosses it down to Gardner, and Gardner loses control. 
It looked like that one bounced right off of his foot. It's going to be an offensive foul on Mason Shiflet. Shiflet upset with the call as he came over to the bench. And we will have a media timeout. Score 25-26 in favor of the Falcons. Latch still the top scorer for the Falcons. He is still sitting at six. Other players, three other players are at four. Blazers top scorer, Jacoby Owens, seven points. And then Ryan Black at six. Coach Anthony Camara, his first season with the Falcons. Falcons are 37% in field goals. They're shooting nine for 24. They are 100% at the free throw line currently. And they are six for six, but so is the so are the Blazers. They are 10 for 10. Coach Kamara trying to communicate to his team that defense. Trying to cover for all the offensive weapons that the Blazers have. As we return back to the court, 7.56 left here in the first half of play. Fofano on the inbound. He'll get it to Jacoby Owens. He's covered by three different people when the passes came in. Owens now with the ball. Oh, he loses control off of his foot, and Gardner, the ball is just being rolled around on the court. Gordon now has it finally, and he lays it up and misses. And Fortner, I just now noticed this, but Christian Fortner is now on the court. And finally, the basket, it's in the basket by number three, Hamilton. And Hamilton pokes it away out of Moore's hands, and it will go out of bounds on him. Weird sequence of events there. Ball was just lost and was rolling all around on the court. No one could get a handle on it until Hamilton had it and then he laid it up in for two. As I said, Christian Fortner has checked back into the game. Rest, we're talking about a foul on the Falcons, but finally discussion was over that it was on Mason Shiflet. Shiflet now with the ball. Shiflet now chatting up with Hamilton, and he will take a trip to the line. That is Hamilton's first personal. Some more chatting going on between two Fortner and Owens. Shiflet's first free throw is up and it's in. Scores now 27-27. As I said, Shiflet, when he was coming over to here to the bench on the last foul call, is very upset and he makes his second one. Aiden Gardner and Jalen Tharp come on to the court now, replacing Shiflet and Fortner. Checked in to Owens. Owens is covered up by two people. Uh, Hamilton is wide open here on the near side, and he lays it up. He misses, but Walker has it. He lays it up, and that one's in for two. Checked in to Moore now. Pass over to Tharp. Tharp, he pulls up, shoots a three and in. Jalen Tharp had so much time that he just pulled up and shot a three there. Rutgers now in the game for the Blazers. Hamilton and Owens were passing it back and forth. Back to Hamilton, Hamilton loses it and McNeil there for the steal.
Moore shoots a three, he misses, and Walker there to get the rebound. Hamilton being double covered here. Boser now with the ball, he passes it over to Owens. Owens now, he's trying to make moves towards the basket, he throws it up, and he misses. But he draws a shooting foul on Aiden Gardner. Coach Anthony Kamara talking about how Aiden Gardner had just gotten into the game and it looked like he had to throw up. But nonetheless, Owens makes his first free throw. Gardner. And Owens makes his second free throw. Checking, checking, checking back into the game is Christian Fortner. McNeil with the ball over to Fortner. Fortner fakes back to Tharp. Over to McNeil and Tharp. Tharp limping over here near half court and he's hobbling off. Shooting two for number four, Tyler, four. Tyler Moore will come up to the free throw line here. This one is up, and it's cleanly in. Now coming in for the Falcons is Austin Latch. Also for the Blazers, Maurice Gordon. As I said, Tharp made a move, and then he when he stepped back, and there's Tyler Moore missed his second free throw shot. Over to Walker. Walker fakes. Makes a move in. Austin Latch getting called for a personal foul. And this one, Kellen Walker's first free throw is up and it's out. This one was up, and it's in. And the second one was up and in. Moore now with the ball. <laughs> Foul on number 15, Kellen Walker. Step back up to the line. Tyler Moore's first one is up, and it's in. And it's up, and it's in after doing an around the world with the rim. Owens now with the ball. He dribbled and he makes a move and lays it in for two for the Blazers. Bertolet now with the ball, he's making moves towards the basket. He lays it up and in for two. <laughs> Bertolet, yet again, one of the names I said was a key player in their win against West Florida. Boser with the ball, hands it off to Rucker. Rucker's trying to make moves towards the basket. He passes out to Boser, Boser for three and cleanly in. McNeil fakes a three over to Moore. Moore, he just sits there, waits, and he misses. And it's gonna go out and be Falcons ball. Moore, when he got the ball, he just sat there for a minute and waited till he felt comfortable shooting and he shot and ended up missing. But nonetheless, it went off of one of the Blazers and then came out. Good hustle there by McNeil. Fortner with the ball now. He gets it down to Gardner. And Bertolette finds his way in, but he misses his layup. And that pass 
or that shot awkwardly off the backboard. And Maurice Gordon missing that three. Moore with the ball, gives it over to Fortner. Now with Bertolette. Bertolette shoots a three, but it's called back after Fortner getting called for a personal foul, it seems. And now Owens with the ball. Owens here with the ball. Down low to. That ball was down low to Jay Rucker, but he gets stuffed by Aiden Gardner. Now Moore with the ball. Moore's trying to make a move in towards the basket. He can't do any more. He gives it to McNeil. McNeil steps back, jumper, and swish in for two. A cross court pass to Caden B Bosser, who's just wide open down the court. And we will have a media timeout here. Score 39-38 in favor of the Blazers. Four different players for the Falcons are sitting at six points. And over on the Blazers side, Jacoby Owens has 11 points. He is three for six and five for five at the free throw line. For your Falcons, they are shooting 12 for 30, three for 14 at the threes. And they are 11 for 12 at the free throw line. For the Blazers, they are shooting 11 for 29. They are four for 12 in threes, and they are 13 for 14 at the free throw line. Currently, Falcons, yet again, being out-rebounded, just like in the women's game, but they are only being out-rebounded by three. It's Anthony Kamara. Trying to help get this Falcons team reset. Player to mention, like I said, also with four people tied at six points, one of them being Braxton Burlett. Burlett is the second in scoring for the GSC. He has 10th in field goal percentage as well. He's also a fourth in three, po three point percentage. Over to Gardner, now over to McNeil, back to Moore. Moore with the ball, he's trying to make a move inwards. He was thinking about shooting a three, but he couldn't. Bertolette with the ball, back to Moore. Moore, he's trying to move in towards the basket. He lays it up, misses, and Rucker collects it. Walker is down court, they give it to him. He euro steps and lays it in for two. McNeil now with the ball. He makes a move inwards towards the basket. He throws it up, he misses, and Bertolette tips that one back in for two. Selders cross-court pass to, that was a cross-court pass to Maurice Gordon, and he gets swatted, it gets swatted out of his hands by Bertolette, and Bertolette gets it over to Fort, Fortner for three. He misses, but it was given to McNeil, and Fortner got the ball and shot that three and missed. Selders gives it over to Walker, down low to Bosser. And Fortner able to disrupt that pass and goes out of bounds. Coming on for Fortner is Austin Latch. Bosser now with it. Over to Walker, now over to Rucker. Rucker fakes over to Gordon, over to Rucker. Now over back to Walker. Walker, he makes a move inwards. He does a little jumper around the world and out. And Gardner gets a defensive rebound up to Bertolet. Bertolet, he makes a move. He's driving towards the back and makes another move. Tries to lay it up and gets the shooting foul. And this will send Bertolet to the free throw line. As this year, Bertolet is leading in free throw percentage as he is clean on the year. He is 100%. He will be shooting two here. 2.21 left here. Just down by one, 40 to 41. His first one is up. And it's in as it hit that front part of the rim. Owens now comes in. Moore came over to Coach. Anthony and said that one was not in and then right as he said that one, Owens came right in and 
Burlett's second is up, go, go, and it's go, go, Lynn. Go, go. And Gordon throws that one down. Four, Tyler Moore now with the ball, 42-43. has stopped play. <laughs> and they have just kicked it off one bit to 211 and 26. And now Jamaris McCray will come out to the court. And he is our featured Falcon. Jamaris McCray from St. Petersburg, Florida. Red shirt freshman. McCray has played 10 games for a total of 75 minutes of playing time as Pearl lays that one in for two. As that pass was meant to go to Boser, but Boser slipped, it seems. So he was complaining about a wet spot. Pass over to Gordon. Gordon back out to Selders. Over to Owens. Austin Latch being called for a trip. This will be a shooting foul. And we'll send Owens to the free throw line. But McCray has played in 10 games for a total of 75 minutes of playing time. And that shot is in. His first shot is in. as they stop play for a minute to clean up the wet spot that Bosser said he was complaining about when he slipped when that errant pass happened. Spot is now dry. Owens now with the ball. That one is up, and it's a miss. And McCray there to get the rebound. And they call it out of bounds. His foot just barely over the line, it seemed. Pass into Boser. Over to Gordon. Gordon, he shoots a three, and he misses. Moore gets the defensive rebound. Back over to Moore. Moore now, he's trying to make moves towards the basket. Over to Latch now. Latch gives it to Bertolette. Bertolette with the ball now. He's making a move towards the basket. Over to McCray, McCray. McCray shoots a three, and he misses. Offensive rebound by J.C. McNeil. Back over to Moore, Moore, and McNeil fakes. And a offensive foul will be called on J.C. McNeil. as that was looking very well offensively, and then he gets, J.C. McNeil got hit with a oh. offensive foul. Owens with the ball, gives it to Rucker. Rucker throws it down for two. 50 seconds left here in the first half. Falcons just down by two. Bertolette now with the ball. He fakes a three shot. He drives in now. He's trying to make move. Step back jumper, and he misses. But McCray, he's right there. And that goes out off of McCray. And will be Blazers ball. 38 seconds left here in the first half of play. Ball passed into Owens. Now back over to Bosser. Over to Selders. Back to Bosser. And then over to Maurice Gordon. Now Owens, he shoots a three. And that one's in. 25 seconds left. And Montevallo will call a timeout here. So we're just going back to the stats, Falcons are 14 for 37 on field goals, 13 for 14 on 
free throws. Top sc scoring leader so far, Braxton Bertolette sitting at 12 points, five for eight and two for two at the free throw line. Rebounds sitting at 23 even with each other, both Valdosta and Montevallo. Aiden Gardner, six rebounds and for the Blazers, Fofana has seven. For the Blazers, their top scorer is Jacoby Owens. He has 15 points, shooting four for seven, one for one at threes, and then six for seven at the free throw line. Montevallo has four steals as well as the Blazers. As we get ready back for play, it is Falcons ball here. J.C. McNeil will try to hold on to this and let this clock wind down till half. Over to Bertolette. Bertolette, he's trying to make a move. Over to Latch. Latch shoots a three, but he gets slapped, and there's no foul called. Coach Kamara complaining to the refs that there was no foul on the three-point shot by Latch. And as we go into the half, halftime, some controversy now. Well, folks, that's the end of the first half here. 15 minutes, we'll be right back for the second half. Coach Kamara storming off into the locker room. Very upset about that last call. We'll be right back here at Trustmark Arena.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're about to get ready for the start of the second half of play here. Score 49-44 in favor of the Valdosta State Blazers. So far, some of the stats are that Braxton Burlett is our leading scorer as he is 12 points. He's shooting five for eight and is clean on his free throws, two for two. And then again, the, the Falcons are 92% today as the other night against the West Florida Argonauts. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Yet again, as I said, welcome back to Trustmark Arena here. We're about to get ready to start the second half of play between the Montevallo Falcons and the Valdosta State Blazers. And Bertolette checks it into McNeil. Falcons just down by five here as we start this second half. Looking to create some opportunity early as Bertolette lays it in for two. As I said, doing the little halftime preview, Hamilton in the corner for three, and that's clean again. But as I was saying earlier, uh, Bertolette is the top scorer so far in tonight's game as he is sitting at 14 points. He is six for nine. Pass out to McNeil by Moore. Moore fell down. He's on a knee here. And he tried to get it over to Gardner, it went right through Gardner's hands. Out of bounds over near the fan side of the court. And it will be Blazers ball. McNeil steals it away. And then it swiped out of his hands by Owens as he was just sitting there. Hamilton with the ball. Gives it over to Owens. Owens, or... Hamilton over to Gordon, over to Bosser. Bosser, he shoots a three, and that's off the backboard. And Rucker there to get that rebound, and then gave it over to Owens. He gives it over to Gordon. Ball loose. Gardner got it. Now Schiffler, he's trying to drive in towards the basket. He misses, gets his own rebound, and that's slapped out of his hands by Bosser. Hamilton now with the ball. He toss it, tosses it over to Rucker. Rucker misses his layup, but he gets his own rebound. He misses his own dunk. McNeil slaps it out of his hands, and now the Falcons have the ball. McNeil gets it over to Bertolette. Shiflet now with the ball. He makes a drive in towards the bucket, and he gets swiped out of his hands by Hamilton, and now Maurice Gordon has the ball and draws the foul, I believe, and it will be on, it will be a personal foul on Tyler Moore. And 
Maurice Gordon will go to the free throw line. This first one was up and in. The second one. The miss. Burlett over to Shiflett, now to McNeil. McNeil down low to Gardner. Gardner trying to dribble in towards the basket. Jumps up and makes that too easily. Down the court to Hamilton, over to Rucker. Back to Hamilton and over to Owens. Owens makes move, steps back, shoots, and a miss. But a personal foul is called on Braxton Bertolet. It's going to be a free throw for Owens. He'll get a chance for three here. Jacoby Owens will get three free throw chances here. His first one is up, and it's in. Owens has been pretty clean on the night when it comes to free throws. He is now seven for eight. His first one is up. Or his second is up, and it's a miss. And Hamilton jumped the gun and ran after the ball, thinking that one of the Falcons made a move. And Owen's second one is up, and it's in. Or his third one is up and in. McNeil with the ball. He makes a move towards the basket, and he misses. Ball being bobbled around. And a personal foul called on Aiden Gardner. <laughs> Owens flips it up to Rucker for the alley-oop. McNeil with the ball now. Over to Gardner. Gardner, he's trying to dribble in towards the basket. He makes a move. And a personal foul called on Aiden Gardner now. Now on for the Falcons is number two, Kendon Knight. Score 48-57. And McNeil got his hand in there and stuck it out of Owens. And the check-in was here near the Falcons bench. Errant pass by Hamilton that goes out of bounds. Pass intended for Rucker. And it will now be Falcons ball on the far side of the court here. Knight on the inbound will get it to Moore. Moore with the ball. Gives it over to Knight. Knight over to Shiflet. Shiflet fakes three sets back, shoots, and swish. Nation Shiflet for three. Owens with the ball. They're trying to cover up Owens. And Mason Shiflet gets the steal, passes it up court to McNeil. McNeil goes up and one. McNeil puts it in for two and gets the foul, but he is, he is rolling in pain on the court. He's down hard. He's slow to get up. Holding his knee, as in last game, we saw when they played against West Florida, he had a problem with that as well, and he had to come out early, but he came right back in and helped win that game. But yet again, he is just, he's complaining about that right knee as trainer Maureen hands out there to make sure he's okay and will help him up to get to the bench as he is limping slowly getting off the court already lost two or never mind he will stay in to take his one free throw and never mind that will Jalen Tharp Jalen Tharp will go in for McNeil instead and Knight will take the free throw. Great 
This one's up, and it's an out after dribbling in and out of the rim. Now Owens with the ball, covered up by two, over to Bosser. Bosser, he dribbles in, he tries to throw it up to, and Berlet with the steal, he's driving in. He tries to lay it up in, and that's gonna go out on Shiflet. Berlet was all by himself there on a fast break, and then Gordon slowly bumped into him and caused him to put off his shot. And Gordon makes a shift to the left and able to just finger roll it in for two. Bertolet over to Knight. Knight now with the ball over to Bertolet. Bertolet, D3, in! Braxton Bertolet for three. Had a D3 there. Another alley-oop to Jay Rucker by Hamilton. Shiflet now with the ball. Over to Knight. Knight now with the ball. It's going to be an offensive foul on Kendon Knight. We will have a media timeout here, folks. Score 56-61 in favor of the Blazers. Coach Anthony Kamara trying to decide which play, what kind of play setup he wants to do here for this next bit. Grabs his, his dry board and will quickly sit down and write down the play he wants to do. Some of the stats so far. Bertolette is now at 17 points shooting seven for 11. He's one for one on threes and then two for two on free throws. Falcons are 40% so far. Over on the Valdosta side, Owens still the better scorer of the group. 17 points, four for seven, one for one, and eight for 10 at the free throw line. So can the Falcons, they got two people close to double digits. Shiflet at nine, and then McNeil at eight. Can the Falcons find some sort of answer here to the trio that is Jay Rucker, ja Jacoby Owens, and Cam Hamilton. As Caden Bosser, Caden Bosser will be on the inbound for the Blazers. Owens with the ball, he gets it back over to Bosser who has a lot of room here, and then passes it over to Maurice Gordon, over to Rucker, and Rucker! Ball slipped out of his hands, but before that even happens, he gets called for a travel. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. As I said the other night when McNeil got hurt, right near the end, he came off but came right back in. Again, it happens here. Gets injured but comes right back in. Jalen Tharp with the ball, gives it over to Shiflet. Gives it off to McNeil again. McNeil with the ball over to Knight. Knight, Knight makes a move towards the basket. Thor Shiflet now with the three, he misses, he shorts it. And now Hamilton with the ball. Pass up to Rucker and then over to Gordon. Gordon grabs it and he gets stuffed by Shiflet and he misses his layup and it goes out on the Falcons and will be Blazers ball. A lot of ball movement happening here, folks. Um, it seems that the Falcons were swatting the ball out of the hands of each player it got to as Rucker makes a move and just lightly throws that one in for two. Burlett now with the ball. He pulls up, shoots a three, and off the front part of the rim. Jacoby Owens with the ball now. He moves in and tries to lay it up in for two. And it's going to be an offensive foul on Jacoby Owens. As it seems that some commotion here, Shiflet fell, and Jay, saying Jay Rucker had shoved him, or either there was a slip spot.
commotion happening here between Shiflet and the Valdosta bench. And they're going to take a look over there on replay at what has happened. Shiflet and Jay Rucker are still talking back and chatting back and forth as Shiflet thought he was tripped up and the Valdosta side thought he got, he just slipped. McNeil tosses it in tonight as we continue play here. Knight over to Tharp. Tharp for three. He misses and Gordon gets the rebound. He gets it to Bosser and a travel called on Maurice Gordon, and it will be Falcons ball, and Aiden Gardner will now check into the game. McNeil with the ball. And Jay Rucker slaps a ball out of J.C. McNeil's hands. McNeil with the Tries to get it to Gardner, but he miscontrols it. A three on one. And Maurice Gordon able to just tip it in for the Blazers as now they're up by 10. Over to Shiflet. Shiflet trying to make a move inwards. Well, he has to come back out just a little bit. And he drives up in. And he draws a foul and will take a trip to the free throw line. Foul was on. Foul was on Jay Rucker. Shiflet's first free throw is up and it's in cleanly. Shiflet's next one is up and in as well. Aiden Gardner getting another foul here. That's Aiden's fourth personal foul of the game. Owens with the ball. Over to Morris Gordon. Gordon with the ball. Gives it to Bosser. Back out to Gordon. Gordon fakes a three over to Hamilton. Hamilton for three. And that one's in. McNeil with the ball. Over to Tharp. Tharp for the corner three. And he misses out the front edge. Shiflet had got the rebound. No one is down the edge of the court. And he missed his dunk. He missed his dunk, ladies and gentlemen. Bertolette for three. Yeah. Swish. Jay Rucker was all by himself as the Falcons caught it off guard. And he managed to, when he went to go dunk, he missed it. And then Bertolette capitalized, got the three. And now there's an offensive foul on the Blazers. That foul was on Caden Bosser. And now in for the Blazers is Mohamed Fofana and number 15, Kellen Walker. McNeil on the inbound will give it off to Moore. Score 61-68. Moore with the ball over to Bertolette. Bertolette steps back. Over to Knight, 
Knight's making a move inwards, lays it up and in for two. Kinden Knight. Also in for the Blazers is number 20, Ryan Black. On the inbound is Fofana. Twelve fifty six left here in play. Pass to Ryan Black. Back over to Fofana. Up to Hamilton. Hamilton, he tries to make a move inwards. Tries to pass it down low to Fofana. Fofana still gets a grip on it and over to Black. Black makes a move pass over to Hamilton. Hamilton takes a step back. Three and is in. McNeil with the ball. Pass down low to Shiflet. Shiflet tries to make a move. Tries to lay it up in and he will draw a foul here. He will go to the charity line. That personal foul is on Ryan Black. That's his first, that's his second personal of the night, or first, actually, my bad. That is his first personal of the game. Shiflet. His first one is up. And it's cleanly in. Score 64 71. His second is up, and that one's in as well. Shiflet still remaining clean on the night, as is two other Falcons, Bertolette and Gardner. With the ball, Sofana, he checks it in to Owens. Owens now over to Hamilton. Hamilton for another corner three and in. The Falcons have to find some sort of answer for Cam Hamilton as he is just able to sit off in a corner or anywhere on the three line and just easily throw it up in. And they call an offensive foul on J.C. McNeil. As they clean up a wet spot there just right under the goal. Owens now with the ball, passes up to Black, over to Walker. Walker with the ball, gives it off to Hamilton. Hamilton fakes a three. He's trying to get to Walker. Walker makes a move inwards, now over to Black. Black for three, and in. Bertolette with the ball. That's McNeil for three. He misses, and Hamilton there to get the defensive rebound. Up court, pass to Fof or Walker, then to Fofana. And he tried to pass it back to Fofana, and Fofana was not ready. And then Falcons capitalize, and now Bertolette, he's trying to take a step back. Now he drives in, lays it up, and in for two. <laughs> Owens with the ball. Now alley-oop up to Kellen Walker, and throws it down for two. Moore now with the ball. Now with McNeil. Back to Moore. Moore's trying to drive in towards the basket. He's in the paint. Spin move. Gets stuffed, and it's going to be. And it's going to be a jump ball on Tyler Moore. We'll go to a media timeout. Scores 67 to 79. Seeing the same thing in the women's game here just late in the second period of play and the Blazers dominating on offense with three players in double digits but over for the Falcons Braxton Bertolette is sitting at 22 points on the night he's nine for 14 two for three on threes and two for two on free throws yeah six rebounds on the night as well ladies and gentlemen Shiflet has 13 points. He's two for nine and one for five on threes, but he is eight for eight on free throws tonight. Also clinging on to five rebounds. Other players following up behind close to double 
digits is J.C. McNeil. He has eight. He's four for 11, 0 for three on threes, holding on to two rebounds and two steals. Gar Another highlight is Aiden Gardner. He may just be at four points, but he has to watch himself as he is sitting at four fouls and could possibly foul out if he gets put back into the game later. On the court is still the same lineup. Tharp, Moore, Shiflet, Bertolet, and Knight. Pass in to Owens. Now over to Fofana. Owens now with the ball. Now Black. Gives it back to Black. And then now Walker with the ball. Over to Black. Black for three. And cleanly in. And now Valdosta State has managed to put their best shooters back on the court now as Black. Hamilton able to just run over Bertolet and steal the ball. And Moore with the ball now gives off to Shiflet. Black sticks his hand in there and steals it away. Fofana now slams it in for the Blazers. Blazers finding themselves up now by 19. Falcons still can make a comeback here. Just 10, minute, 10 minutes and six seconds remaining. Another interesting fact is that Valdosta's on a 7-0 run. Falcons have yet to score a point. Now, we also have to remember that the Falcons were down big in their last game. They were down 22 at one point. And then coming out of the half, they were down just by 13. And we have the same situation here. 10 minutes remaining. Anything can happen, folks. As we saw, as I said, last Saturday, a miracle happened here in Trustmark Arena where the Falcons made a major comeback against the West Florida Argonauts to win 115-113. And that was with the help of J.C. McNeil and his amazing defensive prowess but also him and Bertolette both fired off a couple of good threes and had good moments with rebounding and run-ups to the basket. So we have to hope for another comeback here for our Falcons as they're down by 19. Moore with the ball. He's trying to make a move in towards the basket. And it's an on-court block foul on Hamilton. Pass in to Aiden Gardner. And Aiden Gardner lays it in for two. Cutting down this lead. Pass in to Owens. Owens now over to Walker. Now over to Black. Back to Owens. Fofana down low to Walker. And Walker slams it down. Moore now with the ball. Over to McNeil. Over to Moore. Moore jumper for two and in. Tyler, Tyler Moore for two. Tyler Moore now trying to step up and be a leader and get this team back into this game. Owens with the ball for Valdosta. He makes a move in and shoots and it's in for two. Moore with the ball. He makes a move in. And that one is blocked. Hamilton for three. And he misses that one. It's tipped up towards the basket. Fofana had it, and then he missed. 
McNeil now with the ball. Over to Fortner, but Fortner couldn't get it. And now Hamilton with the ball. Pass over to Owens. Owens fakes a three over to Walker. Over to Fofana. Cross court to Hamilton. Hamilton for three. Austin Latch put that one in for three over in the corner. Owens over to Fofana. Fofana with the ball. Christian Forner making another appearance here. Over to Hamilton. Hamilton trying to make a move in. Steps back, shoots another three. He misses. Fofana gets the rebound. He makes another move and lays it in for two. Some miscommunication between J.C. McNeil and Tyler Moore. So as I spoke about in the keys of the game, this Falcons defense has to step up. Someone has to step up here. This is exactly what I was talking about. This is a Valdosta State high scoring offense. As I said, they are averaging 84.7 per game. One of the best in the conference. So now Falcons are down big here. 720 left. 74-95. Falcons, like I said, down by 31 it seems. They have to find an answer to stopping the firepower that is Jay, Jay Rucker, Jacoby Owens, Maurice Gordon, and Cam Hamilton, and even Fofana, who's, even though he's not doing a whole lot in scoring, but he is helping a good bit in assists as well as in rebounds as he has 10 rebounds on the night. So, will we see another magical comeback or will Valdosta State continue to just absolutely dominate in offense? as they have been now, have been in this second half as Selders comes in for Valdosta State. Shiflet also checking into the game. Hamilton over to Selders. Selders with the ball. See, and now Valdosta State just here is just gonna hold on to this ball as long as they can as they are up big here. Fofana drives into the basket, misses, and Shiflet gets the defensive rebound. Shifflet now with the ball. Shifflet, he pulls up, shoots a three, and swish. Mason Shifflet. He got the defensive rebound and then gets it right back and throw, shoots a three. Ryan Black now with the ball for the Blazers. Selders now with the ball. Fofana gives it black, black for three, and another clean swish for him. Tharp now with the ball. And Hamilton able to smack it out of another player's hands again. And when he went to do it, Shiflet went to go punch it out of his hands and gets the personal foul call on him. And this will send Hamilton to the free throw line. Now coming on to the court for the Falcons is a J.C. McNeil. And on for Valdosta, Jacoby Owens. Cam Hamilton's first free throw is up. And it's a miss. Hopefully that gives the Falcons some hope here with just over six minutes left. Knight with it. Jumper. He misses. Owens gets the rebound for the Blazers. He drives in. And he misses, but he will draw the block foul on Kendon Knight. 
This will send Owens to the free throw line. This one is up and it is in. And that one is in. in. For the second night in a row, the 100 will be used again, but for the visitors, Jalen Tharp with the ball. Black try to smack it out of Jalen Tharp's hand, and he just answers back with a layup for two. As Owens this time, as he made the run towards the paint, he gets it in. Bertolet now with the ball. He's trying to run in. And there's a personal foul call here. That's going to be on Jacoby Owens, and it will send Bertolet to the free throw line. He will get two free throws here. Bertolet steps up for his first free throw. This one is up, and it is in. one is up and it is in as well. Bertolette still pretty clean on the year still and on the night as he is now four for four over to Kellen Walker. Walker back out to Black and now over to Owens. Scores 81 to 102. Bofana with the ball, gives it to Hamilton. Hamilton, he makes a move then puts it over to Walker. And w McNeil slaps it out of Walker's hands. Ball is just being jockeyed around now over to Hamilton. Hamilton for three. He misses as the shot clock expired. And now Shiflet with the ball. Pass up. Pass up to Bertolette. Now over to McNeil. Now over to Shiflet. Shiflet for three. And that's off the front edge of the rim. And ball is still being jockeyed around again. And Fofana now finally having control. Owens with it. Now up another alley-oop to Walker. And Walker misses. And it draws a personal foul on Kellen Walker. This is going to send Shifflet up to the free throw line. Shifflet will shoot one and one here for the Falcons. Shiflet is eight for eight on the night. This one is up, and it's a miss. Owens with the ball. Over to Black, Black for three, and he misses that one as it danced with the rim. McNeil now with the ball for the Falcons. McNeil, he drives in, lays it up in for two. JC McNeil. That's that J.C. McNeil magic. It's so a warning is delivered on Gardner as he couldn't cross the line as he did. Checked into Hamilton. Now Fofana again with the ball. And carrying foul called on Fofana. And we will have a media timeout here, folks. Score 83 to 102. Falcons now just down by 19 again with f four minutes even left to play. Falcons have to play tough defense again. They some people are stepping up here on defense, but is it going to be enough to 
continue as they find themselves again down by 19, like I said. Kendon Knight now lit up with a red four as he is on the verge of being fouled out as well. Bertolette, yet again, another name to be highlighted as he is at 24 points. He is shooting nine for 14. He is four for four at the free throw line. And then Shiflet has 16. McNeil now has 10. Latch still sitting at nine as he has not checked in the game in a while. McNeil now with the ball. He makes a move. He drives towards the basket and lays it in for two. That's that McNeil magic. J.C. McNeil. Fofana will now be on the inbound. And uh, there's a foul on Jacoby Owens for shoving. And that's team foul number nine for the Blazers. What this means is that McNeil will be, it's not going to be a shooting foul, but he will go to the inbound and it will be Falcons ball again. Or actually, no, he will go to the line. And he goes back to the inbound instead. That's also Jacoby Owens, 14 foul. Gardner with the ball, he lays it, he just lays it up in for two. Jacoby Owens now with the ball. It's gonna go off of McNeil and it will still be Blazers ball. Score 87, 102, 334 left to play. Now on for Valdosta is Maurice Gordon. And checked in to Jacoby Owens. Now over to Hamilton. Over to Owens. As they're going to try to slow down play here. Now Fofana. Now over to Hamilton. Hamilton takes a three. Now he moves towards the basket. And lays it in. And will also draw a foul for one free throw. That personal foul is on J.C. McNeil. That is J.C. McNeil's fourth personal as well as he will be on edge for a foul out as well. And Hamilton's for one free throw is up and it's in. Score 105-87. J.C. McNeil with the ball. He drives in, and it's off the rim. Fofana covered up, and it's going to be Blazer's ball. Pass into Owens, and J.C. McNeil steals it, gives it to Bertolette, and Bertolette, little jumper. He misses, but Gardner there to get the rebound, and it's going to be a travel on Gardner. Hamilton now with the ball. Hamilton now with the ball. Over to Owens. And that one thrown up to Gordon. Bertolette now with the ball. Over to McNeil. McNeil fakes a three, then gives it to Shiflet. And Shiflet's pass was to Gardner, but it goes out off of one of the Blazers and will be Falcons ball. McNeil on the inbound. Watch the 
down to Thor Tharp, and Tharp lays it in and gets one. Jalen Tharp. <laughs> That's Maurice Gordon's second personal. And Tharp will go to the free throw line. Score 89-107. This one's up. And it's in. Just down by 17 now. But the Blazers are going to look to just try to hold off to hold on to this ball. And JC McNeil gets the seal. It's going to be a foul on Cam Hamilton. That's his fourth personal of the game. And now he's on the verge of fouling out. McNeil now has four steals on the night, equaling last Saturday. And that one's up and in. His second and final one is up and is clean as well. Now down by 17. Over to Fofana. Now to Hamilton. Now over to Owens. Owens now. Just running around, just trying to hold on to this ball. He steps back, shoots, and it's around and out. Burlett now with the ball. Over to Shiflet. Now over to Tharp. Tharp steps back, shoots a three. Swish. 95 to 107, folks. Ryan Black now with ball for the Blazers. Now to Gordon. Now back out to Black now over two. Owens. Now to Gordon. Back out to Owens. 55 seconds. Owens drives in. He misses, but Gordon gets the rebound and he misses that one. And Tharp now has ball over to Shiflet. Shiflet lays it in for two. Ten points with 42 seconds left. They have to play tough defense now to get back into this. Another alley oop, and he misses. Pass up to Bertolette. Bertolette lays it in for two. And just like this. 99 to 107 is the score with 30 seconds remaining. Falcons just down. With 30 seconds left, can we see that? Magic like we did last Saturday against Flor West Florida. Falcons are only down by eight points. It is not impossible, but with the time that they have, can they make it happen? Will we see another McNeil magic and Bertolette magic again? As we get ready to come back out here on the court, it is an eight point deficit. Deficit, that's a three possession game. Coach Kamara trying to hype up his team. Bertolette has.
has scored the last four points for Mount Avalo. He is at 26 points. He's shooting 10 for 16. McNeil is at 14 points tonight, and he's shooting six for 14 and two for two. Those two have to find, connect with each other tonight in order to help combine. Both of them have 20. 20. They are at 14, 26 and 14. 40, 40 points of Montevallo's 99 is between Bertolet and McNeil. Braxton Bertolet will have a foul and this will send Jacoby Owens to the free throw line to shoot for two. Valdosta is 20 for 25 at the free throw line and he misses his first one. Something we saw happen in last time's game that helped be a catalyst for the Falcons is that the person at the free throw line missed the first one, but what about his second? Can he make his second? He misses his second. That happened in the last game. As I said, just down by eight. Bertolette drives in, lays it up, but it's in anyways for two. That one's by Aiden Gardner. And now it's just a two possession game. Valdosta only having one timeout and Montevallo with just two. And Valdosta will call their final. Foul is on the floor actually. And that one's on Jalen Tharp. This will send Fofana to the free throw line. Fofana was five for seven in his last game at the free throw line, and tonight he is two for two. 16 seconds remaining, and he misses that first one. Yet again, another person that goes to the free throw line for the other opposing team has missed the first free throw. What about his second? And he makes that one. 16 seconds. Bertolette makes a spin move, drives to the basket, throws a foul at one! And they're calling it on Bertolette. They're calling an offensive foul on Bertolette. They're calling an offensive foul on Braxton Bertolette. That's number two. That's Maurice Gordon, the injured Blair, who is slow to get Blazer, who's slow to get up. And we might have a challenge here by Coach Anthony Camara on the call. As the two refs will head over to the replay station to see what the call is. I've never seen him before. That makes Falcons. Find themselves down just by seven with 11 seconds remaining. This is a huge call. We're waiting patiently for the, we're waiting patiently for the rest call here. And Owens was just standing, as you saw there, Coach Camaro was complaining about Jacoby Owens was standing with the ref at center or half court. And now, and now they're sending the other ref that was standing at half court to look at the call as well. And he, we are waiting. Here's the call. And it is a foul on Braxton. It's going to be a dead ball foul. 
and it will send one of the Blazers down to the other end of the court for two free throws. They're gonna see in Maurice Gordon as Falcon fans are upset. The foul was that Bertolette, when he went to go do his layup, elbow went into his throat and The good thing about this though, folks, is that Valdosta will score with no time running on the clock. And this will still be a three possession game with 11 seconds remaining. We have to have another miracle here. Something has to happen on defense in order for the miracle to happen again. Black is gonna hold on to it. Nine. Shiflet is now also at four fouls. This will send Black to the free throw line now. Uh, J.C. McNeil is also at four fouls, as well as Aiden Gardner and Kendon Knight. And Black will step up to the line for his first free throw, and that one is out. That is a miss, 9.9 .9 seconds. Still, that's a big thing and a still a three possession game. If he can miss this second free throw. This one's up and it's out as well. Falcons have to move fast here. Pass down low to Gardner and Gardner is tripped up by Cam Hamilton. We don't need twos, we need threes. with 3.9 seconds remaining. With, that's, that is, that actually is Cam Hamilton's fifth personal of the game. He's fouled out, which is basically nothing at this point with 3.9 seconds left. Gardner will shoot for two free, free throws. This one is in. Finding themselves now down just by eight points. Yet again, anything can happen within these last couple of seconds. Well, this one is up. And he makes that one as well. Finding themselves down just by seven. Some sort of miracle has to happen here. But they will just run the clock out instead and that will be your game. Score, final score, 103 to 110 in favor of the Blazers. Your final stats on tonight's games, the Falcons shot 35 for 76 and 24 for 27 at the free throw line. And for the Blazers, 37 for 77 and 25 for 33 at the free throw line. Next game between for the Falcons will be right back here at Trustmark Arena between the Falcons and the AUM Warhawks. Tip off at four o'clock. My name is Aiden Golden, and we will see you Saturday.